I hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved. And if not, know that I love you. Okay, so right now I'm going to, I'm going to pull some um, soul cards for everyone and let everyone know where we're headed and all of that jazz. Remember, these readings are not going to resonate with you every single day. I may be picking up on different energies, different people. So it may not make sense if you, you know, sometimes it may, sometimes it won't. So let's take a look and see um, what is coming towards the Divine Feminine that they may not see coming. Is this something you're manifesting? This is victory. You're going to have victory over something. What is it? Over a third party. You're very nervous. You could be also becoming single as well. Yeah, you are. You're very nervous about this. I feel like you know this is coming because I just don't feel like you're happy where you're at. Yeah, this is going to be very healing for you. This new beginning here, Ace of Swords. It's going to be very, um, an uh, very authentic conscious connection. This is going to be emotional fulfillment here. Okay, new love here. Look at this, Virgo, air sign energy, death and rebirth. So this is a transformation, a big transformation. Virgo and air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's the ending? What's the death and rebirth? What's the death and rebirth? This is a reconciliation after a lot of manipulative stuck energy. There's going to be a reconciliation and these people are going to move forward into something very balanced. Okay, so justice is coming. Ace of Wands, new energy, new beginning here. Okay. What does Divine Feminine need to kind of just focus on at this time? So for a while, I felt like Divine Feminine wasn't supposed to be doing anything. <laughs> um, just kind of be open to receiving. So what does Divine Feminine need to be doing at this time? So this feels like working on reconciling. You may need to reconcile with your father or come to some kind of reconciliation is what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, the emperor is the father. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but year like years ago. Yeah, a couple years ago, I used to have a Celtic deck. And in that deck, the emperor, which is the divine masculine, was the father. Okay, so I'm channeling that someone may need to forgive their father, make amends with their father, and also with their divine masculine. Okay. I knew that was going to come out. I knew that was going to come out. So, and also maybe your mother as well. Forgiving your mother. So this is, we're talking about yet again forgiveness. That's the emperor and the empress. That's the divine masculine and the feminine. Okay. <sighs> Queen of Pentacles. You've been disappointed. You've been very disappointed by your parents, your masculine going through a lot of depression. Spirit is saying that this person is now coming in as the King of Cups. I feel like this person's heart chakra is open. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, okay? This is where you're headed with your person. Passionate energy, High Priestess. You know it's coming. Your intuition has already told you, okay? You know it's coming. You're the magician. You know. This is what you really want. So work on forgiveness, okay? Anything you want to say about forgiveness? 
you have a lot of stress and anxiety about forgiveness. I don't, this is, this is what's going to bring in a balance here, forgiveness. So how can Divine Feminine work on forgiveness? So this is about letting go. Letting go of all of that hurt and moving forward. Letting it go. Letting it stay in that old timeline in the past. Being patient with yourself. Loving yourself. Some of you may have had a conversation with your parent, one, or I feel like it was your mother and she may have confused you. She may have said some things that were even hurtful. She's very guarded. She has a blocked heart space. You know this, though. She's been like this for a long time. And it has to do with her parents spirit is saying so try to understand that i just heard hurt people hurt people right like she doesn't have anything to give you she could have been in a uh, had an addiction here for a long time this could have messed her up as well yep it did she has father issues as well Yep. She needs to forgive her father as well. The devil. She that's how she views her father as the devil. This is a lot. This is very heavy. Yep. So there's that, okay? Maybe that'll help you in some way. I don't know. Let's see what Divine Feminine needs to hear, needs to know at this time with this learning to forgive and letting go. What does Divine Feminine need to know at this time about learning to forgive and letting go? What risk can I take today? Be not mistaken, you will have to take bigger risks than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dreams. You will have to take the big scary leap, but do not fret because your soul has wings. What risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and courageous and you will discover what you're really made of. Okay, so what is Divine Feminine supposed to be doing? Because I just, I mean, yeah, forgiveness. Well, okay, let's ask this other deck. Let me sage it really quick. So what action is that? What risk should Divine Feminine take? What risk does Divine Feminine need to take? Taking care of yourself. Wow. You feel like choosing yourself is a risk. Why? Why? Earth energy is significant. You could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why does she feel like choosing themselves is a risk? Because this will create stability and harmony and flow. But what's the risk? There is no risk, but you still feel like if you chose yourself. Um, so by choosing yourself, you may have to leave someone. 
like a family or a marriage and you may have guilt about doing this because of your kids or whatever else this is why spirit is like you have to choose yourself your kids will be fine no matter what but you're the blueprint of what they feel they should do when they're older. You have to choose yourself and show self-love so that they learn to do the same. And this will help you form a solid foundation. And you will get wish fulfillment. What is the block here? What is the block? Having the courage to change. Listening to your intuition is the block because you're clinging to your comfort zone. And this could be a past life soulmate who brings out your shadow. Okay. Um... This is like imperative. I feel like people were asking about this. Maybe someone's not leaving a situation and you're supposed to because of burdens. What's going to happen if they don't leave their situation? You're, you're, you're going to get a divorce anyways. What's the seven of swords? It's like, this is going to happen regardless. There's going to be some sneakiness in your marriage. Um, you fear this? This looks like an affair. Yeah, it is. This person's is heart space is blocked because they're a karmic and they are juggling. So they're cheating. Death. So... If you don't leave, this person will eventually cheat and then you'll end up leaving for that reason. So that's basically what Spirit is saying. Like, either way, it's going to end. This person, I feel like, is wearing a mask. Okay, this person is wearing a mask in the marriage. Um, you may be giving this person the benefit of the doubt or something like that. Um... What do you want to say about the person that Divine Feminine is married to? This relationship is over. No second chances. Are they wearing a mask? This person has anger problems. Yeah. When you um, get some kind of truth, you're going to be single. This is a separation. What's the truth that Divine Feminine will know? Or we'll see. You're going to know that somebody's been looking at somebody's old photos. You're going to feel stabbed in the back and it's going to make you feel like you're not enough. Yeah, a girl with a snake is here. This person is toxic, like I said. It's a snake. Oh, shit. It's a snake. Your soulmates, past life soulmates, like I said, but this person is a snake. Okay, so where is Divine Masculine headed that they may not know? Or I just saw justice in the wheel. So this could be a divorce or you're a Libra. So, I feel like you're headed towards the Virgo. <laughs> this has been a long time coming. Yep. Because you want the Ten of Pentacles with this person. This is your person. That's why. The devil. Why is this person in devil energy? This is someone who's in devil energy. Why, who's the Page of Cups and why is the Page of Cups here? I feel like this is the person attached to the Divine Feminine. Yeah, it is. You're like in double energy because she's with somebody. Is 
so what is the divine masculine status you're attached to a queen of wands you got multiple options <laughs> but you are healing you are healing and you're thinking about your future um so is he willing is he going to be monogamous with divine feminine uh, uh. yes so he will be single when he comes towards you divine feminine i was about to say there's a lot of conflict going on right now there's way too much crap he has multiple sex partners he's gonna end up he's gonna end up dropping everybody for you what is it what's the there's some kind of epiphany here <laughs> yeah because you're the divine feminine that's why he's only going to want to move forward with you so this is like i don't care about any of these other people i always think about her i always come back to her that's who i want that's what i'm getting none of these other people matter so what does divine masculine need to focus on at this time doing what does divine masculine need to focus on at this time moving forward and communicating to divine feminine to the queen of pentacles because you've been avoiding this person this is the only way to get through this and get back together, the lovers, and have a future together. You need to have a, like, I was going to say sit down conversation, but you need to have a serious conversation. You fear having to do this, but you need to. You love this person. You're in love with this person. you want to move forward you're very stressed oh and there's a movie on um netflix called sex life it's so crazy it's about basically the divine feminine rising and the divine feminine healing sexual issues and really embracing her authentic self even if it means having to let go of someone that she really loves um, and it's multiple divine feminines and multiple divine masculines, okay? It's ending of karmic contracts and just moving forward with your truth and standing in your truth and saying, this is who I love. Take me or leave me. And it's, I can't even tell you, I watched it in like a week, all, both seasons, and I cried multiple times. It put me in my feels. You guys need to watch it <laughs> if you haven't already, okay? You have to. Um, anything you want to say about that show, Spirit? Yeah, it's it will make you realize what you're doing, player energy, as well as who you love. Also, it'll make you realize self-love, right? Healing, okay? In regards to, you know, oh, Divine Masculine needs to watch it too. it'll really put into perspective divine masculine choosing queen of pentacles to move forward that's divine feminine to move forward into a happy healthy connection 11 11 and ending karmic contracts and becoming single that basically is the premise of the show <laughs> that's the whole show right this is, it highlights sneaky manipulative energy and what happens when you engage in that energy. It does. There's a lot of sex in there, so I wouldn't recommend watching it in the living room. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright, so what do you want to tell Divine Masculine at this time? I am going to see what, you know, where you're going. On whom am I placing blame right now? A person who blames others has not begun their lesson. A person who blames themselves has begun their lesson. A person who blames no one has finished their lesson. 
Take responsibility on whom are you placing blame. Today, free yourself by releasing all victimhood, blame, and resistance. They don't belong where you are going. Only love and courage live there. Make a choice to do it, even if you don't feel ready. Listen to your heart and you will be led. <sighs> What's hidden, Divine Masculine, is that there's going to be balance regardless. Balance is being restored regardless. So where is Divine Masculine headed? Regardless, this is in the spiritual realm. You're going to be working on disappointment and having something new with Divine Feminine. You're going to reach out maybe with an apology and have victory over this stuck energy. Wish granted, moving forward, walking away from uh, toxic people, walking away from people who don't really give a damn about you, I'm hearing. Okay. So what's happening between the couple, between the counterparts in the next 24 to 48 hours? Next 24 to 48 hours, 9.29 a.m. on the timer. What day is it? We're, we're on Thursday. Next 24 to 48 hours, what's going on? Someone's going to make a move, I'm hearing. Someone is manifesting divorce because of the devil, which is a toxic individual. Someone is tired of being stressed out. This is air sign energy. So, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who's coming in as the devil? Okay, so the devil is the air sign trying to reconcile. Why are they showing up as the devil? Because they have to forgive. They haven't forgiven. Even though this person is going to try to reconcile and move forward and there's a lot of love here, this person has not forgiven the divine feminine for conflict. You have to forgive her in order to close out the cycle entirely. What does he have to forgive her for? For being stuck? Stuck where? 2-2? Two, two? Clarify two of pentacles? He feels like you kept her him stuck. What? Why? And that's what... Because you knew something? You knew something. And you kept it a secret? What the F? And see, that's why this card come out, who am I placing, placing blame? So he blames you. What does he think she kept secret? Oh my God. Why is he always the victim? He feels betrayed because you knew that you were always going to come back to him, but yet never said it. Cre he feels like you just created confusion on purpose. He feels like, why did you leave me out in the cold then if I'm actually the king of pentacles? Why the hell did you leave me out in the cold if you knew this was coming? Because this was what she was guided to do. He feels like you put burdens in his life when you didn't have to. Yeah, he's like, why didn't you just choose me? If you knew we were coming back together. <laughs> it's about, this is a journey, my guy. <laughs> this is all about learning lessons this feminine had to learn temperance balancing masculine and feminine energies oh, God. this person's energy is very tiring <laughs> this is about it doesn't matter i'm gonna tell you right now too because you know 
Lucy prophecy, okay, about my own life all the time. I've told you guys this since I don't know how long ago, and I have, okay? And it comes true. And this is why I get so beside myself and why I cry, because I know it's coming. Um, and I can forget about, about my vision, and then it still happens. And then I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot. And I always write down my visions. So I go back and I read it, and I'm like, yep. Anyways, it doesn't matter what you know is coming. It doesn't matter because we're humans. So let me, let me explain something to you. Even though you know, say I got a vision two years ago that my life as I know it now, or my marriage, would end. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It doesn't mean that in that moment I'm like, okay, you know what? Well, I guess I better pack up my shit and go. It doesn't work like that. Because children are involved. Families are involved. Homes are involved. Finances are Like, everything is involved. You don't just make a move just because you've received a vision. You still have to respect, honor, be have empathy, have sympathy, compassion. Like, the energy that I'm getting from this masculine is like, you already knew this was coming. How dare you keep me miser in misery for years? What? Excuse me? <laughs> That's wild to me. It's like, even though you receive a vision, it doesn't mean that you're just going to, the next day, walk out. It means you're going to go in faith and you're going to respect God, your creator, and you're going to, you're going to do things as you feel you should on a timeline you feel is best. Not because you received a vision and you're going to say, okay, well, gotta go. I know it's coming, so I might as well just rip the bandaid off instead of waiting I mean, I don't know, maybe some people do that, but that's not how I work. And that's clearly not how this divine feminine works either. Just because you know something doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything, <laughs> to be honest, okay? Unless it involves something very detrimental. I always tell people, as long as you are respecting yourself, loving yourself, you know, having compassion, trying to have sympathy and empathy for others, then you'll be fine, right? Try to be the most authentic person you can, okay? But try to be the most authentic in, in the better. So I have a tattoo that says, be your better self. Try to be your most authentic and your better self as much as possible. And your better self is your higher self. Okay, and if you're having a problem with being a good person, you need to ask yourself why. And then when you get to that why, ask yourself, well, why is that? And then keep going on down the rabbit hole. Eventually, you'll get to the root. Okay, because there was a seed planted in order for that root to be there. What was the seed? right? What was the seed that made that grow? <sighs> I didn't want to make this long, but here we are, which is, you know, here we are. Um, so what is the problem? That's where the devil is coming from. That's where this devil energy is coming from. What do I always tell you? The only way out is through. So who planted this seed, this low vibrational seed? The devil and your energy. Something in your mind. The lovers. This is 
a lot of air energy. And there's Earth. You have to balance your mind and the heart to gain stability, to get through it. You have to. Mind, body, and soul, remember? You have to use all. Think about it like this. How were you created? When you were a human, you have all the tools you need within your body and your spirit and your soul. Mind, body, and soul. You are created in a perfect image and everything you encompass is a tool. to heal, to be stable, to become who you were always meant to become. The sun, three of cups, at peace, high vibrational, happy. This is a thing of the past. This is where we're headed. Creating a future, ending karmic cycles, moving forward, away from the manipulative, angry, violent, vile energy. Away from the grief. Away from the sadness. Self-love, not self-loathing. If you're on this timeline, you need to get moving. In spirit of grace. Because if you're on that timeline, the devil is in your head. Causing grief and sadness. And you need to connect back to, back to your intuition. Virgo energy, great rebirth here. Speaking your future into existence, co-creating. It may take mean you have to walk away. You may have to experience a loss. But what is on the other side of this loss is so much better than what you've had. It's stable, it's unconditional love, it's abundance, it's victory over this stuck energy for so long. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, this is your freedom. Being free. Nobody's coming to save you. <laughs> You're guided to save yourself. Okay? Through forgiveness and compassion and unconditional love. Okay? Stop waiting around for things to just happen and make them happen, right? By using your intuition and all of the lessons that you have been given. Am I letting fear stop me? Are you letting fear stop you? Some trade their dreams for comfort. That's your south node. Yet comfort is the enemy of progress. Success requires showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it, and even when it feels uncomfortable. It takes guts and an endless vision to stay consistent to your dream. Journal where you can be more consistent in your life in alignment with your soulful goals. Then show up. 
So where can, let's ask that, where can Divine Feminine be more consistent? So that they can achieve, oh, stuck, so that they can achieve goals for their higher self. Where can Divine Feminine show up for themselves better? Stop resisting your intuition. Someone here is not listening to their intuition. They're like bucking their intuition. Stop doing that. Divine Masculine. What can Divine Masculine do to show up more so for their higher self? What can Divine Masculine do to show up for themselves? Mm. Get out of this stuck energy. Where are they stuck? You're stuck daydreaming. You're stuck daydreaming about the action that you want to take, but you're not taking it. Take it. Because it's going to lead you to the sun. And to your future. Which is 11, 11, four wands. Leo energy here. Or Aries, Aries, Sag, Leo's Aries, Sag. Yeah, you're stuck thinking about it. You're hiding a conversation that was had in an argument. You may be thinking about this a lot. You're a soulmate, you're a person, you're divine feminine is a Virgo. <laughs> this person makes you, there she is. This person makes you so mentally stressed. Oh my God. I just channeled as above, so below. Air, earth. Yeah, I keep channeling Libra, Virgo. Air, earth. As above, so below. Masculine is logic. Feminine is grounded. Feminine is attached to the supernatural, to Gaia, to earth, animals, plants, the world, the masculine is all about communication. <clears throat> you guys have to come together to create a balance because right now we're in the tower. So, uh, ow, my ankle. <laughs> so right now, where is the energy right now where we're at? What's the tower? What is this tower, Spirit? What is this tower? So... Everybody's super emotional, going through havoc, impasse, highly sensitive, connect with nature, get grounded. So this means that you're not grounded. You're too much in the air. Okay, if that makes sense, right? Too much in your head. You need to be connected to your heart space, get grounded, okay? And where is, where are we headed when these, these collectives, these people, whoever these are in the collective, come together? Where are we headed? Where are we headed? <laughs> being grounded it's the same card you can't make it up protection so we're going to be calling back our power cutting cords being protected okay somebody there's going to be a lot of us uh, holding mirrors to one another to each other 
Breaking the chain, healing, rewriting the future is where we're headed. Rewriting the future. Breaking the chain, the bondage, the chains of bondage, I'm hearing. Leap, you go first. The universe will catch you. Just say yes. Breaking the chain of bondage. Wow. Breaking the chain of bondage. Yeah. The masculine has to listen to their intuition in order to break the chain, to end the debt. The masculine has to go first. I, I've always channeled that the masculine has to go first. Because he's the leader. The, yes. Told you. It has something to do with because he's heir. He has to go first break the chain to create balance told you that's the balance otherwise we'll stay in chaos <coughs> 4141 present abundant gratitude yeah we're going towards abundance masculine has to take care of himself <coughs> oh my god the masculine has to take care of himself no i'm kind of scared <laughs> oh lord Anything we need to know? <laughs> Spirit's like, <laughs> recharge. <laughs> Take some self-care. Take a chance. Even though you're scared, take a chance. Rest, rejuvenate, take a chance. You're going into Wish Granite. Okay, let me sit here for a second and see if we need to get any other messages. They want to use the Rebel deck. I feel like someone really liked this one. I mean, I really like this one. It's funny. Oh, okay. What do you want to say? And then I'm going to ask what the last thing to heal is before union. Laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? <laughs> Look, when I say I'm scared, fuck fear. It will lie to your face. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Spirit's basically saying, laugh. Laugh in the face of fear. Okay, so what's the last thing that we're going to be healing? What is the last thing that the masculine has to heal in order to move forward? In order to break this chain, what is the last thing that the masculine has to heal? The last thing before union. Now, that doesn't mean you're done with healing. You have to heal when you get together, too. That's a whole other a whole other <laughs> world, <laughs> okay? You're not going to be done healing, okay, when you get together. Then that comes other hard work, okay? But what is the last thing that the Divine Masculine has to heal in order for, to create the balance that I just saw? What's the last thing that we have to heal? 
Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's a divine masculine has to heal. The twin flame journey to union. That's literally what it says. Let me read this. We have to heal the masculine and feminine. Okay, so it, both of us. I need to pull cards for both. So what does the masculine have to... What's the last thing? Control issues is the last thing before coming back together. I feel safe when I'm in control. It is not necessary to be in control of everything. There are some things you cannot control. Surrender to the bigger picture. Know that this journey is bigger than you. Divine masculine and feminine energies are here on the planet at this time in order to join together in balance harmony and alignment it is love that saves the world that is the mission it's big so i know i don't know if some of you believe me or not but anyways we're all light workers we're all here to save the planet love wins i think i've said that before i posted something when i used to have instagram love wins because it does okay so what have I been saying? You have to go into balance. You have to balance, okay? Harmony and alignment. It is love that's going to save the world. Now, not only does Divine Masculine have to heal these control issues, Divine Feminine, so do you. Because you encompass the masculine as well. Remember, you guys are connected. Okay, so we all have the same energies, all right? That's why we feel the other one. Because we are connected. The Christians, you know, what it, the Christians, the Bible, religious, right? People who are tied to religion believe, oh, they were created from the rib or whatever. Uh, we have the same soul. <laughs> okay. So here we are. All right, so what does the Divine Feminine need to work on healing before reunion? The same thing. As apart from the control issues, Divine Masculine, this goes for you too. You have to heal the Feminine within you as well. Wow. Intuition. And this is crazy because control is ego and then we have intuition. My intuition tells me one thing while my linear mind tells me another. Which should I follow? Yeah. There's the mind trying to control. Sometimes we don't, we just don't have all the answers or the logic. This is when our innate intuition comes in. This connection defies logic and defies all earthly things. It is from the divine, as is our innate intuition. What is it then that leads you to not trust it or not follow it? So stop trying to control everything and lean into your intuition. Get your ducks in a row. If your intuition is saying, okay, you're not supposed to be with that person that you're married to. Then guess what? You need to listen and you need to get your ducks in a row and take action. You have free will. And I know I said, well, things are going to fall apart anyways. Yeah, because that's the path. So if you choose the path of ego and say, you know what? I'm not going to listen to my intuition. I'm not going to get my ducks in a row. I'm not going to make a plan to be authentic. Then... The path of ego is going to continue. And like I saw, that person is just going to stab you in your back yet again. Another blade. This is what you have to heal in order to come together. Control issues and intuition. <sighs> wow. That's a hell of an epiphany. At least for me. I don't know about you guys. And this is why I had, why we said, am I letting fear stop me? And I said, oh God, I'm scared. Remember? <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on. It 
says, this is on my pattern app. It says, today or any day you're feeling insecure, have an internal conversation with yourself to unpack the root of your fears. This can help you see whether they are based on reality or if they're perceived limitations based on past experiences. And what was I talking about getting to the root? It's not a coincidence. When I'm channeling, I'm channeling, okay? All right, and I'm gonna ask for one last card and then that's gonna be it, okay? And then I'm gonna pull a soul card. I mean, not a, a spiritual animal card, I mean. What do we need to know at this time? What passion am I ready to pursue? Your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put to the side, given up on, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive? Write a list of the passions to which you want to give life right now. Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you're passionate about into your daily life. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your dream life. Yeah. Okay. Now let's get a soul card. Or I don't know why I keep saying soul card. <laughs> Spirit animal card. What do we need to know at this time? B. <laughs> Productivity. So cute. I've been seeing bees everywhere. Like, um, not real bees, but like um, bees on social media. This reminded me of the ne little necklace, and it says adopt a bee. And it's so cute. We need bees to live, to survive. It is time to examine your productivity. Dis disorganization and indecisiveness may be causing you to miss opportunities. Take a moment to prioritize your goals and get a clear view of how to get where you want to go and what it will take to get there. Uh, that's literally what I've said. <laughs> this What are your passions? And this is talking about what is your passion? So if you're not sure what you want to do, you need to take this time as an opportunity to say, okay, what are my passions? Where That's your soul. Whatever your passion is, is your soul. Okay? And if it's something toxic, you need therapy. And I'm not being funny. I'm not being judgmental. I'm being honest. Okay? If your passion is something that is not healthy, then you need to fix that shit, okay? But for someone who is, and, and what I mean by unhealthy is negative, low vibrational, hurting, hurtful to others or anything like that, okay? You need to heal yourself. Because that's not natural, okay? So that is a trauma response. For the others of you who have just lost who you are, right? Or maybe unhappy by something, then this is for you. Where is your soul calling for you to go, right? When you get excited, what is it that you're excited about? Is it traveling? Is it a hobby? Is it making more money? Is it a job? What is it? You need to make a list of what that is and then you need to prioritize your goals and take write down steps to achieve at the first thing on that list or one of those things on that list. And then next and then the next and then the next. Your soul always tells you where to go always you just have to pay attention your intuition yes you are encouraged to follow your feelings and intuition this is a reminder that your personal power is in your own hands and that you are free to take flight at any time if you find yourself in a situation that doesn't suit you anymore that is your intuition your intuition is you that is your connection to source, okay? 
if you were thinking about, think about it like this. Think about your intuition like this. It's a map that you're given by your parent that says, here you go. This is what you're going to need to do in order to live a fulfilling life. That's your intuition. That's the roadmap from your father, okay, or your mother or whatever your belief system is. When I connect to source, spirit, God, creator, I feel a masculine energy, a masculine presence, okay? I do connect with feminine energy as well, but I feel like that is just a different, that's like, uh, it's definitely a different energy. It's like a loving, caring, nurturing so is the masculine energy that I connect with. That's a loving and caring energy as well, but it's more um, stern. <laughs> that makes sense, right? And the other one is more of like empowering instead of stern. Okay, that's that makes sense. That's the best way I can describe it. Okay. So, that is what I have. 